So what is news? News are the stories that are most interesting and most important to readers. Now, editors need to employ what's called news judgment to learn how to select those interesting and important stories and assign them to reporters. And ultimately, editors decide what stories will run. A good news story has at least one, and hopefully multiple, of these seven news values. The first is impact. Does the story matter? How many people does the story impact and how? Next is immediacy. Did the story just happen or did it happen last week, last month or last year? After enough time has passed, it becomes old news and no longer relevant. People typically care about what is happening in their own community more than in other cities, states, or countries. That's the news value of proximity. Now, when a national or international story has a big enough impact to report on, it should be tied to local impact as much as possible. For instance, after an overseas terrorist attack, a journalist could talk to some local residents who used to live in that community. Next is prominence. Does a story involve a well-known public figure or a celebrity? News always seems more interesting when it happens to famous people. Next is novelty. Is the story about something new, odd, or surprising? New York Sun editor Charles Dana was quoted as saying, when a dog bites a man, that's not news. But when a man bites a dog, so that is news. There's actually even a card game called Man Bites Dog in which players have to use their cards to come up with the most outrageous headlines. Next is conflict. Is the story about a power struggle, a political battle, sports rivalry? Dramatic confrontations of any kind make for good news. And finally, emotions. Does the story make you feel something? Happy? Sad? angry? News is the stories that are most interesting and important to readers. Therefore, who your readers are reflects what your news will look like. Take a look at these nine potential stories for a Metro Daily newspaper, with more details about each one found on page 34 of your textbook. Now imagine you are the editor of the Durham Herald Sun. What's news? Storm warnings and flu shots. That can have a large impact and immediacy. The same with tuition hike. County fair, immediacy and novelty. People love pictures of kids and animals, especially of the two together. Now let's look at a community weekly, something like the Cary News. Now storm warnings aren't as important as it could be days after the storm passed before the paper prints again. The county fair still has relative immediacy and novelty. Remember what I said about kids and animals? Now the tuition hike and Bolivia bus crash stories are things better covered elsewhere. They don't really fit in with the paper's hyper-local focus. Now a story about Girl Scout cookies is a perfect feel-good community piece that appeals to your emotions and would do very well in a community weekly. Now think about a twice weekly campus newspaper focused primarily on campus life. A tuition hike, page one. That impact is major for every reader. The lottery winner is a graduate student who won $50,000 in the state lotto. Now that's a great story for the campus paper. Jay-Z's gender confirmation surgery no one's going to touch an unsubstantiated rumor. Ultimately, what you will run in your newspaper depends on who your readers are and what they want.